Massive news out of OpenAI today. They have two major releases. By the end of this video, you'll know everything there is to know about ChatGPT 01's main release as well as ChatGPT Pro. These two products change things big time. I'm gonna tell you what you need to do immediately to take advantage of them. Let's get into it. First, let's cover ChatGPT Pro mode. This is OpenAI's first major new product release, and this is big. This is made for ChatGPT power users users. And basically what it allows you to do is a couple different things. One is it allows you to have unlimited use of ChatGPT's new model 01. If you do not have pro mode, you're limited to only 50 01 messages a week, which is not a lot. So that is a pretty big leap. The fact that you can do as many 01 messages as you want. And I'm going to get into a full 01 demo very, very shortly. So you can understand what is the power of 01 and see if it's worth the major upgrade to $200 a month. Few other things here, as you can see on the screen, O1 Pro Mode, which is the $200 a month version of O1, uh, does score uh, slightly better than O1, the new release in math, code, and science related questions. So a slight uptick. So regular chat GPT before was $20 a month. Now Pro Mode is $200 a month. The question becomes, is it worth it for 10X the price? In my opinion, for 99% of people, absolutely not. I think the reason OpenAI came out with a $200 version of ChatGPT was they are the fastest growing app of all time when it comes to usage. The challenge was they were only making $20 a month off most users, right? They make a little bit more off the API users, but for a vast majority of users, they were only making $20 a month, which is not a lot of money, especially for a very powerful app like this. And so they needed a higher ticket item in order to pull in a lot more revenue, especially because they're now a for-profit company. I don't know if you guys have been tracking this. So they decided to come out with a $200 version. They looked for as many different ways to give you advantages for $200 for 10 times the price. What it comes down to is this, is it worth it for 200? If you are an absolute stone cold power user and you need unlimited access to 01, then it's probably worth it. The issue is, is for many, many people, you do not need unlimited access to 01. You can use 01 for your very specific use cases that require it, but 4.0 is plenty good for most use cases you're gonna do. So honestly, $200, if you are a hawk and you are using 01 every single day, 100 times a day, then yes, maybe $200 a month's worth it for you. If you're getting a return on investment, you're using this to build a business that's bringing in a lot more than $200 a month, then yes, I'd recommend upgrading. Is it worth it for a slight incremental improvement over 01, which again, I'll get into in a second. No, it isn't. So I give props to them. Sam Altman's like, hey, we need, we're need we now for profit. Let's make tons and tons of money, release a $200 version. But as of now, I do not see any reason for 99.9% .9 of people to upgrade. Now let's talk about the biggest announcement, which is O1's full release. Before we were using O1 preview, which was just a preview version of O1. It wasn't the full thing. As of this very moment, you now can use O1, which is the absolute full version. Now, what are the advantages of O1 before we get into the demonstration. I see three big ones. So now O1 is multimodal. So you can upload images and ask really complex questions of those images. It thinks much faster. If you were using O1 preview before, you know it was kind of slow for more complex questions. Now it handles complex questions a lot faster. And on top of that, it's a lot smarter. So a lot less hallucinations and a lot better and higher quality reasoning. So now let's get into two use cases I really want to show you when it comes to O1. If you do these two use cases with me, I promise you'll become an O1 expert with me. So if you follow my channel, you know I mostly show you how to use AI to build really cool stuff with AI programming and different IDEs. So first I'm going to show you is how to build a game with O1 and show you how it's much improved. And then the second thing is I'm going to show you how to build a business plan with O1. As you know, I talk about entrepreneurship a lot and how AI ties into that. So I'll show you how to use O1 to build a business plan for the app of your dreams. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come in here. If you choose the model selector up here in the top left, you should now see O1. So you can see O1 in O1 mini. With O1 mini, you get 50 messages a day with O1, you now get 50 messages a week, right? So for most use cases, you probably can get away with O1 mini. If you have really complex use cases, O1's better. I'm going to show you a couple of the more complex ones here so we can have a little fun, but let's go with O1. Click on O1. The first thing we're going to do is I'm going to use it to build a game. Okay. So I'm going to go through 
see if it can build me a complex game with one or two prompts, see how well it does reasoning, see how it thinks, and we're gonna come away with this a really cool gameplay. Okay, so I built out this prompt to build a Mario type game. Uh, it is really complex. I'm going to go through it with you now. I really want to push 01 to the limit. I'll include this prompt down below if you want to copy it and use it in your own 01. Uh, but I want to see how many instructions 01 can take to see if it can handle all of this. So I say, 01, please create a simplified Mario style game. I give it a bunch of requirements. We're using Pi Game. If you're building your own game with ChatGPT, I'd recommend using Pi Game. Pi Game is a really simple to set up and use Python library. Uh, it doesn't take much technical setup or anything like that. So initialize a pie game, draw a simple player. I give it instructions around horizontal scrolling along the environments. I give it instructions around coins and enemies and platforms, uh, how you win, how you lose, how it resets. So I gave a lot of instructions here again down below if you want this. Let's see if it can build this out. I'm gonna hit enter. And as this is building out the code, if you're learning anything so far, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Make sure to turn on notifications to get the latest AI news the moment it breaks. Make sure to leave a like and let me know in the replies what else you want me to build with AI. Everything I do is based on user feedback. So I'm gonna scroll down, let's see what it got. Okay, so it's already building code for me. Uh, thought about the Mario style platform and took only five seconds. I remember with O1 preview, everything took at least like 20 seconds. So the fact that it built out an entire game in five seconds is really impressive here. It looks like it has everything around code. It looks like it has everything around coins. It looks like it has the enemy code in there, generating the platform and coins. Uh, applying grab. So it looks like it is including most of my requirements. What I'm going to do is take this code and run it and see if the game, first of all, works. That's the most important thing, right? Second of all, matches the requirements. So let's see what we got here. That That is a lot of code. Now let's see the explanation. Okay, this is interesting. So let's see how it reasoned. Basic structure, uh, the code uses single game file. That's what I requested. Good. Game states as a player, platform collision, scrolling world, coins and scores, enemies, win conditions, game over. So it looks like based on what it's telling me, it met all the requirements, but we're gonna test this in a second to see how it did. So let's do this. Let's take this code and put it into cursor. And I'll show you how to do that right now. So I opened up cursor. You can open up any IDE you want, any development environment. So if you wanna open up cursor, if you wanna open up windsurf, if you wanna open up visual studio code, you can do that. All three are free to download. So feel free to download that now open it up. I opened up a folder inside of Cursor. Cursor is the development environment we're going to use to run this code. I'm going to create a new file, mario.py, and then I'm going to paste in the code it gave me. So in here is all the code. It looks like O1 wrote me 342 lines of code, which is pretty good for five seconds. I love it. Now that it's in, I hit save, which is command S on Mac. I'm going to open up the terminal and I'm going to do command K, which opens up the AI and I'm going to say, run mario.py, it is going to give me the command, which is python mario.py, and I'm gonna hit enter, and let's see what we got. So that is going to start running the game. Let's see what we got. Simplified Mario style platformer. Press enter to start, and keep in mind before I hit enter here, this was one singular prompt with many, many, many requirements. Here we go, let's see what we get. Oh, okay, so the game is working. I, I am the green square here. There are coins. The yellow's are coins. My arrows are moving me around. Let's see what happens if I jump. A space bar makes me jump. Let's see what... Okay, I killed the guy if I land on his head. Oh, top left, I got lives and score. So the score goes up with every coin I get. There are platforms. And it is a side scroller. Am I going to be... I don't know if I'm going to be able to jump high enough to land on there. Let's see. Uh, No. No, I'm not able to. But this was all in one single prompt this was all in one single prompt and we have a pretty full working game here if i want to go back into 01 and improve the characters uh the styling i can do that um but let's see i mean i, I met all my requirements right it has the character it has the coins it has the enemies it has a platform it is a side scroller it has the scoring it has the game over condition it has the start condition that was all with one prompt I know for a fact 01 Preview could not do this, and I know for a fact 4.0 definitely could not do this. So this is pretty amazing. Try this for yourself, the prompt down below. Let's do one more use case with 01. Let's build an entire business plan. 
So I want to see not only how it can handle complex reasoning with coding, I want to see how it can handle complex reasoning with creativity as well. Let's, so let's go in here and give it an entire idea for a business and see if it can build us an entire business plan. So here's what I'm going to do. I am currently building an AI content creation app. And so what I'm going to want is O1 to first build me a marketing plan, second, build for me an entire release roadmap so I can come up with ideas for future releases for my app. Let's hit enter on this and let's see how creative it can get with a business plan. I can tell you before, my challenge with 4.0 is that it did not feel very human. It did not feel very creative. Anything creative related did not feel real. It felt very robotic and AI-like. So let's see how complex, how human-like this can get. So we have an entire plan here. Let's start from the top. So again, I gave it a pretty simple prompt. Just give me a plan. Let's see how creative it got with that prompt. So it starts off with an executive summary. The marketing plan aims to position the app in an AI-driven, time-saving content repurposing tool designed for creators, freelancers, and SMEs. Build cre Okay, so it's giving me a lot of good. I really like this executive summary here. Market competitive analysis. Again, I didn't really ask for this. I wanted to see how much you could think outside the box. And it came up with a market and competitive analysis. Industry context. So target audience is independent creators freelancers and solo entrepreneurs that's accurate uh it gives me competitor landscape so ai writing assistance it gives me other apps oh hey that's cool social media content scheduling tools it gives me a value proposition i like this okay so it gives me a content marketing strategy of blogs case studies video tutorials social media marketing with x and linkedin and youtube and tiktok i like it influencer and thought leadership SEO, paid advertising, pricing and promotion. So it gives me different pricing tiers, promotional offers, metrics and KPIs for me to track. So signups, user acquisition rate, conversion rate, user retention, engagement, and revenue. So here's the release roadmap. So let's see how creative it got with it. Pre-launch one or two months, product development and beta testing, finalized core features, connect close beta with 50 to 100 testers, branding and positioning, soft launch, official launch, post launch. And it gives me detailed descriptions of each one of those and growth and expansion. Oh, and then we have budgeting, contingency and risk management, and then a conclusion. This is pretty good. How long did this take? This was for a second. That took one second. That is objectively better than anything O1 Preview has done. That is a massive upgrade. From a quality perspective, I'd say the output is much better, but most importantly, from a speed perspective, that took a second. That it was quicker than non-reasoning models like Claude and like, 4.0. This was faster than that. That's pretty amazing. Uh, I'd say from a testing perspective, I'm really, really impressed with what I'm seeing from O1. This is incredible. If you are watching this, this means you are interested in AI. And what that means is you need to be using the cutting edge technology the moment it comes out. This just came out. You need to immediately the moment this video ends is go and test it out. Start building use cases, start building software, start building business plans and start creating. The people that take advantage of this now are going to be the ones that win. The people that ignore this are going to be the ones that consume the apps that use this. If you want to win, if you want to get ahead in the business world, if you want to get ahead in the tech world, you need to be using the AI tech that comes out the moment it comes out. So get to it. All the links you need are down below. All the prompts I used are down below. If you learned anything at all, make sure to subscribe. Make sure to turn on notifications so you get AI news the moment it breaks. Leave me a like. Let me know in the replies what you want me to demonstrate next. Look forward to seeing you in the next video.